Just like I told you guys all on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter, leave a link in the description below and top comment. I was going to make a Jump Force video if they dropped Deku into the roster. If you guys don't know who Deku is, he is the main character for My Hero Academia. They did, so I'm doing that right now. Before you do anything else, go into the comment section and tell me which Jump Force character you are the most excited to play. And at the end of this video, I will tell you which Jump Force character I'm the most excited to play. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. Guys, Goku created Jump Force. This isn't some bold statement that I'm trying to get a reaction from. This is facts. This is the truth. Because without Goku, the majority of the Jump Force roster wouldn't exist. Without Dragon Ball, the majority of the Jump Force roster would not exist. Dragon Ball was one of the most successful mega hit shonen that had ever existed. It is the grandfather to the rest of the Shonen Gallery. Now, there are a lot of characters on here and a lot of anime that don't directly get influenced by Dragon Ball's existence. I understand that. I know that. But the majority of these characters, the majority of the characters were extremely hyped to play, they have their origins in being influenced by Goku or Dragon Ball or both. And I think that it's humbling as a Dragon Ball fanatic like you guys that they have a game a soul game that it revolves around all these characters meeting together and finally being able to get played together and I know there was Jumpstars Victory Versus what I'm saying is in this context with all these brand new shonen coming in this is the first one that's gonna have Deku it's gonna have Asta it's gonna have all these different characters that were directly affected by the inclusion of Goku into the world of anime and even if you look past just the anime being influenced in some way or the other by Goku or Dragon Ball you have to take it that Dragon Ball is influencing Jump Force the game as a whole I mean the majority of the characters that we're playing as in Jump Force the ones that have the most characters from that anime are Dragon Ball we got Goku, Vegeta, we got Frieza, we got Cell, we got Piccolo, and we got Trunks just recently announced. This is more characters than most of the anime in Jump Force have for the game. Not to mention that the main antagonists, the main evil characters, are original designs by Akira Toriyama himself. He created these two guys, and I've made videos about them in the past when they were first announced because I was extremely hyped for the inclusion of these characters because it shows to me that there is a lot of Dragon Ball love pushed into this game that is basically a love letter to all of shonen anime and almost all the animes that I've fallen in love with, ones that have influenced me greatly. Dragon Ball has influenced me greatly since I was a very young kid. It is the one constant in my entire life. The one thing that has pushed me forward and any time in my life when I either felt low or I even haven't watched Dragon Ball in a while, I can go back and either watch a fight scene, usually listen to a iconic scene from the anime, Dragon Ball Z back in the day before Super came out, and it would make me feel better, it would bring me back to life, it would definitely be the one thing that I would look forward to in the day when I wasn't feeling my best. And even on those days that I was feeling my best, it would make me feel better. A good day would be me spending time with my family, a better day would be me spending time with my family, dropping in Dragon Ball Z for us to watch, or in this case, Dragon Ball Super, since that's the new thing. I've been influenced by a lot of these shows, guys. Naruto was the one other anime 
that I was so into when I was a kid. This was the anime that after I watched Dragon Ball, after I was sort of having my dreams shattered for a sequel for Dragon Ball when Dragon Ball GT came out in America and I really didn't like it and that's kind of when I fell off for Dragon Ball except for the fighting games, Naruto came into my life and Naruto looks a whole lot like Goku. Let's, let's keep it real. He's very similar to that archetype and that was probably one of the first main popular characters that seem so very much influenced by Goku. That was one of the first main characters from an anime or animes that was influenced by Dragon Ball so much. And this has come out from the creator himself that he said this. I was extremely wrapped up and extremely pulled in to Naruto. After Naruto, I watched Bleach, I watched Death Note, I've been watching My Hero, I've been watching even Black Clover this year. I know the anime starts out on a rocky start, and it's not the best in my opinion, but it has something to offer. It's fun, it's exciting, and it's 100 million percent shonen. If you haven't watched it, I would give it a try past 10 episodes and see if you like it, because it definitely got some well-deserved flack at the very start of the anime, but now it's actually really good. All the anime and shonen shaped me into the adult that I am today, into the person that I am today, as well as other mediums like Marvel and DC, but anime was my main constant for many, many years, and all these characters, or a good majority of them, I would say like 90%, maybe 85, 90% of them, they all owe their lives to Goku and Dragon Ball. Now as far as the game goes, it looks phenomenal. I just watched the story trailer and the story itself I don't really know too much about besides the fact that this dude that Akira Toriyama made is using this grimoire to cause havoc for some reason. Not exactly sure why. And I do know that they're taking the storyline from Xenoverse basically, the, the, the main organization from Xenoverse I guess, and putting it in this game. Xenoverse, you're part of the Time Patrol, trying to stop time from getting meddled up and having all these unnecessary changes that never really happened. And it seems like you're doing something very similar. There are different worlds in Jump Force called Jump, and you are part of the Jump Force, your original created character, to stop these worlds from either colliding or from the bad guy from destroying them. It's very unclear, but it looks really cool. And that's another thing that this game has to owe to Dragon Ball. Xenoverse, specifically. Character customization looks hype as fuck. You get to choose different characteristics from different anime characters from the lineup that we have in Jump Force. This puts the Xenoverse customization on steroids. It's phenomenal guys. You can really create any character that you want based on the characters that have been so lovingly created in Shonen Jump. Hell, they got Yugi in here guys. Yugi. Guys, that's another big part of my life. I don't think you guys know this, but I was a Yu-Gi-Oh fanatic when I was in like 4th grade to 6th grade around that time. Those awkward teen, preteen years. I was a Yu-Gi-Oh fanatic. I used to play my decks. I used to have a little holder on the side of my belt that I would put my deck in like a nerd. Like I was so into Yu-Gi-Oh. My first pack that I ever opened up had the original Blue Eyes White Dragon from that original pack. I remember I got three packs because I knew when the cards were coming out because I had been watching the anime and I pulled the Blue Eyes and I was super excited. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! was one of the main things that really pulled me through those really awkward teen years. And they got Yugi in here with not only Dark Magician, but Dark Magician Girl and Slifer the Sky Dragon from arguably the best arc in Yu-Gi-Oh! The Battle City Tournament. Guys, this is a game that as a Dragon Ball fan, as an anime fan, as a Shonen fan, you cannot pass on. In the end guys, this game is a day one buy for me. 
And if you guys are interested in playing with me, I will drop my information for whichever system I decide to get it on before the game comes out. And I will definitely be doing some live streams on here. Now, whether I'm going to be making videos on it, I'm not really a gaming channel, so I'm not exactly sure. Even though I would like to, I would like to kind of cross into the gaming sphere on this channel. I think a lot of you guys would love to watch me and us interact and play games together, essentially. But... I will definitely be streaming some games on here to see how it all goes and test out the waters and I thought that Yu-Gi-Oh was going to be my main, but with all due respect, Yami. But guys, the character that I'm most hyped to play in this game is of course Deku. Because in my opinion, my hero is the shonen of right now that embodies everything great. From Dragon Ball. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care guys.